It might be helpful to look at how you would approach drawing something as complicated as this lamp. I'm going to make it a giant one so that it's easy to see. Okay, let's we'll choose the boxes that are most square looking. We have a larger we've indicated with our box and it's not going to be the same proportions because I didn't want to go above eye level. But we have what would encompass the largest part of what we're looking at. And it's the largest, that largest box. That's what we have here. And then you begin to take away what you don't need of the box. You start with the largest part because you want to make sure that everything shares the same center line. So down here at the bottom, well, there's our center. Now that center has to be maintained throughout the whole height. And always it's a good idea to complete this as if you were going to make a circle because it gives you a lot of other information. Now we have to find a little box within that and this one looks perfect so I might just take that one or maybe just a little bit bigger. So don't stop using your grid for advice as you go along. It's going to... Now just as I was doing that, you see it touches that diagonal line. And that's helpful because now I know to turn around and go the other way. So having that complete square gave me information. These back and front lined up, so that's where I know this one should be. And these two should line up now too. And you're always using your vanishing points. You never, never really stop using your vanishing points. Okay, so there's my first box. And it's not very tall. It occurs though later on. So I, again, later on. Now, I just to remind you, I'm not doing anything about the proportions. The proportions, these are crazy. Proportions for a lamp, it's going to look like a pygmy lamp, but that's okay. But, see, I need that same box later on, so I can bring it up. Because I've got this later on. So it's about the same width as this part. So I can bring that up and put that in now. Say I want to put this next box here. Now I've got to find a little box in here, so I have to make an X. So hopefully by the end of this you'll see how valuable these X's are. So I'll make my littler box. And I'm stopping every time I go against one of these diagonal lines, I stop and go the other way. That's X is so incredibly helpful. There's my littler box. So I can start to ink a little bit of this in now. So I've got this, this box. I'm trying to keep my big head out of the way, so I'm... And I've got this box. 
the smaller box. All made from that big original box. And then I've got this box, which is going to have a little thickness. So put that up. And then it becomes a circle. So So I need the middle of this top box now. So how many times did we use the the X technique to find the middle, to find the... If you don't get this precisely in the middle, it will look very strange. It's going to look strange anyway, but it would look very strange. Now, my lampshade, the lampshade itself, is up here. Let's see, I need a smaller box on top here. I could actually bring the box up from the bottom, but it would be too small. I have to make it a little bit bigger, so I'm doing my X from corner to corner. And now I want just a smidge, a smidge smaller, not too much smaller. So, I doubt that I've covered everything that you're going to encounter, but in doing these few little things, I'm hoping that it will help you solve some of your perspective problems that you will encounter. <clears throat> so now I've got a new width. For my lampshade, smaller box on top, bigger box on the bottom. I've got my smaller box here, my beginning box, my smaller box, my bigger box, and my tube, the tube that runs up the center. My proportions, as I keep saying, are off because I'm wanted to make this big enough but keep it below eye level. Your lamps are going to be below eye level so it didn't make sense to... Now if you have a round lamp, a round bedside table lamp, then you're going to need to know the circumference of that circle and maintain the center of that circle all the way up. 